Hi guys, it's Chantel here and Ethan's in the background playing a game. Um, now, Bubbles is somewhere there. Bubbles is on the bed. Also, if you see um, a dirty, like, cover on the bed, that's Bubbles' own Duna cover. That's her, sorry, Duna. That's her Duna. Um, in case, because I don't want to pee on my bed. Now, I've already applied my foundation and I've done my eyebrows, put some concealer on the lids. Now, I thought I would film a get ready with me because Ethan and I are going to like a concert type thing. We're going to see 5 Seconds of Summer. Now, we won't be able to film much because of copyright. So, I thought I would just do a get ready with me instead and then film whatever we can that doesn't show too much now I'm going to do my eyes I don't know what I'm going to do yet I might do like a natural look I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Solitary or Solitary however it's pronounced I like to use this palette a lot actually now if I can grab a hold of whatever brush I want to use okay gonna use the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill that I don't know what number this is it's so dirty but that is a brush and I'm probably gonna use the color Birch, which is this shade here. Probably going to use that color. Now, if you ha hear any noises, it'll be his game or either the aircon because all the bubbles. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got the aircon on at the moment because it's really hot today. I went for a run today. And then came home and had a shower so my hair's really wet. But yeah. So now I'm blending in the shade birch. I tell you, it is that warm today. It really is. Is it as warm as as Friday was, babe? Uh, it's hotter than Friday. Hotter. It's 32 degrees. Oh, okay, so it's gone warmer. <clears throat> What's that, bubbles? Yeah. That's the picture you just took of her? Yeah. <laughs> she just had strawberry in that. We need to feed her early today because we're going to yes. the concert. It's like a festival sort of concert situation yeah, like it's a festival where well, they're just gonna be singing at it so yeah so it's not my also does anyone else get super itchy when they put on makeup i don't know why but i get super super duper itchy not all the time but sometimes i don't know if i'm allergic or I don't know, all my skin's like, it's its way of saying I'm suffocating. <laughs> I have no idea. But, yeah, it gets pretty itchy sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Now, this is the first time I'll be going to a concert. I've never gone to one. So, this is the first time. So, I'm quite excited. But also quite nervous. <laughs> so I did my skincare before doing anything as I always do. Now I had super dry skin um, for like maybe five months. Like it was super dry. And now it's like starting to go to an okay level. Like it won't really be as dry now i do have dry skin but it was so much worse so much worse before and 
now I'm gonna use I'm trying to think what shade I want to use I think I'm gonna use the shade pearl which way where's that it's over here so I'm gonna use that on my lids it's really nice oh I dipped into rose quartz by accident which is a darker pink but I'll wipe that off so I've been thinking of video ideas to do with Ethan I've got a few in mind so also I just wanted to put this out there if you see three videos or multiple videos with us wearing the exact same clothes, that is because it's pre-recorded. Whoa. Pre-recorded. <laughs> pre um, we filmed three videos in one day. Um, so, sorry. Yeah, we did two more. Yeah, we did. So, we were on a roll on Friday. <laughs> We did everything and I'm still applying the same colour. Okay, now I'm going to put on. Ooh, where is it? I'm always losing stuff, always. So I'm putting on Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which I always use. Fun fact. Um, Ethan wanted me to play Fortnite this one time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I was asked, he's like, oh, do you want to play Fortnite? And I thought, yeah, alright, I'll give it a go. And I saw some people playing Fortnite. I suck at games, by the way. I suck at games. I can only play really super easy games. Mario. Huh? Mario. Mario, yes. And even I was struggling with that. This, I stopped playing it. I got so angry. I get so angry if I lose, oh, lose or can't do, like, get past a point. I might not stuff the game. It's over. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> but I was playing Fortnite one time. I just started. Literally just. <laughs> was in the air going to a location got to that location crashed and died in a tree <laughs> literally i wish i was over exaggerating but that's what happened and ethan laughed i thought i was like i told you i suck i did pre-warn you oh that was actually so sad that that happened but what can you do and I've been playing this Amari game on Switch. Oh, you're not that hard. I can't remember what it's called. I, yeah, I, I, I can't remember either, but hold on. Yeah, it's some like adventure game. It's Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Ah, uh, yes. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. That makes sense. And mind you, I'm upset. Like the old DS. Um,. I feel I've had slightly better Mario games. I really liked them better. Um, I liked the one where you had to save Princess Peach and you had to do all these levels. I absolutely loved it. I think I think I might have gotten close to saving Peach. Or I might have actually completed it. I can't remember but I absolutely There's loved two it. Of them? I absolutely love that game. But yeah, I don't know on Nintendo. I haven't found like I find similarities, but never the exact same. Which oh I'm putting Two Face Concealer on. Which sucks, but I think I'm just gonna go straight past these guys, can I? And this Mario Kart, always loved Mario Kart, which they've got that on Nintendo, but I don't even and think that's the exact same as a deer. Whoa, here. Nah, it's updated version because it's a switch now. Yeah, it's a switch, which 
I don't know. I just like the DS one better. Oh, it is I don't boss. know. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> Ouch. But I'm blending in my concealer now. I do the weirdest faces when I'm blending or dealing with makeup. Now I'm going to put setting powder, which is Too Faced setting powder. <clears throat> oh no. Okay. Um. So let's put that on the face. Our setting powder always spits out everywhere. I suck at putting it on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but powder went everywhere. She's chewing her ball. Aw, Bubbles is playing with her ball apparently. She's not now. Oh, she's not now. <laughs> every time <laughs> I announce something, or every time I go take a photo of this guinea pig, she does something really cute, and I think, all right, I'll take a cute photo. Here she comes. Oh, here. Oh, she ran into her, um, her tent. Every her circus tent. Every time I go take a photo of this guinea pig, or a video or something because she looks cute. She runs off. Literally runs and hides. And I think, girl, you're destroying everything. Oh. She's so cute though. That she is. Yes. I don't know. I'm excited for today, but always n n like also nervous. Yes. I'm not sure why. So Ethan and I made a shared TikTok account just recently. Usually I post makeup looks and that on my own TikTok, but I haven't done that in a while too. No, you haven't done your crazy makeup looks. So <laughs> yeah. In a while. Should probably do a Christmas makeup look now that we are in December. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah, but we've been recording and stuff like that. Try to get out videos. Also, there's one thing I always hear. So, every time I watch um, hairdressers or anything like that on YouTube. So, a hairdresser said that you know, you shouldn't um, really brush your hair when it's wet because it can create breakage and stuff like that. But then also, you get told sometimes that, oh, you shouldn't dry your hair, you should let it air dry because, you know, putting heat on your hair all the time isn't good for your hair. But then you also hear that you shouldn't go to bed with wet hair will sleep on it because it can create spot balding and yeah it's just not good for your hair it can create breakage and I'm like what do you want me to do <laughs> like what is it <laughs> that that confuses me a bit I'm like well, well what am I supposed to do then but yeah so I let my hair I've always let my hair air dry and I've always slept with wet hair which isn't great i think that can catch you can catch a cold from that but i guess if i've had a shower late what are you gonna do also i'm using rev revolution make sorry revolution this i use this shade it's absolutely putrid this broke off <laughs> Oh, it broke off, but I use this shade. Obviously, you can see I hit pan, so I use that shade. I don't use these two, but I use this for nose contour. I feel like it is the only shade. Oh, and I use this, this brush for my nose, but I feel like it's the only shade in that that I've used that isn't too orange, that isn't too gray for my skin. Um, I feel like it's pretty perfect for my nose because otherwise I've used grey 
on my nose before and it looked like I shoved dirt on my face. <laughs> it looked awful. Um, and then, because obviously I'm really fair. And I've used, I used to use, well, any bronzer I used to put on my cheeks I used to put on my nose. So I went through Hula bronzer. I went through, I think a Marc Jacobs one. And then Too Faced, just whatever bronze I used at the time I put on my nose. Now they weren't bad, but I feel like it made the, I feel like it made my contour look really harsh. My nose, like you could tell it was there. And I know you're supposed to have, you know, your contour sort of showing or what is the point? Like how's your nose going to shrink if it's, you know, not going to show you. But the thing is, I feel like it was a little bit too harsh for my nose considering it's in the center of my face like it's smack bang you can see if it's not looking right especially in the sun a lot of people don't check their makeup in the sun and it looks crazy um your makeup can look good in the house but as soon as you step outside it can look a bit crazy but yeah so i noticed that with the nose contour and this shade's the only one that's like sort of it's sort of like a cool brown. It's not too orangey. It's like a cooler brown. And I really like it. Haven't had issues. My contour never looks crazy. Um, yeah, so I like that. A lot better than the others that I've used. But I mean, the good bronzers for my cheeks and that. Not bad for my cheeks. It's just my nose that things can look a little bit crazy now i also once i've done it because it can look a little bit harsh i don't know if the camera's showing up as well as in person but i like to blend out with my powder brush I like to blend it out so it's not too harsh it never is really harsh anyway but i just like to be careful i just I got <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, now what do I do with the brush? I always do this. I put it back and then I decide I may want it again. And then I never know what... Oh, there it's gone. But, yes. Just doing easy makeup look today. Nothing too glamorous. Yeah. Nothing too fancy. Fancy schmancy. Today, I tell you. So, I go for a run with my family every Sunday. And today, whew, it was hard. It was pretty hard. Woke up around 7-ish. And then left the house around then. And we went to the location that we run in. Um, because we like to run up a hill and there's a certain location we go to that has a hill. We love running up there. I mean, it burns more fat running up a hill because it's hard. But today, I was struggling to run, I tell you. I was really struggling to But, oh yeah, I'm using Too Faced Bronzer, which I always use. But, I was running up a hill and it was hard today because of how hot... It is um, outside. It got hot by like 7 a.m. I was like, dang. Also, if you always see in every motion with a beauty blender, with bronzer, with um, powder, I always tap because I don't want to remove the foundation from my face because my face is dry. I think that might be the reason why when I used to just do that like scrub my face almost it used to take off every layer but I tap it and then I sort of like use a scrubbing motion <laughs> I don't know how to explain but <laughs> that's basically what I do with the bronzer and it's not gonna look this harsh like it's gonna be more blended I don't know why it looks that harsh on camera because it doesn't in person but Oh, our baby sleeping, our fur baby, but yeah. So 
So yeah, it was hard running today. But I'm glad I did it. It's honestly good. You feel better after. And I don't actually feel tired. Probably going to feel tired at the concert. If I'm not... I might not because I'll probably be having fun, but... Yeah, I don't think you'll feel tired. Yeah, I might not. Yesterday, oh my goodness, I was so tired. We pre-recorded the video um, yesterday, so we didn't need to film yesterday. And my goodness, I was actually so tired all day. And I don't know why. Maybe because we... No, what... what? Yeah, we didn't do anything yesterday. Yeah. And I was tired and I was like... Because we already pre-recorded our videos. Yeah, I was so tired and I'm not sure why, but I was. But... Oh yeah, I didn't really sleep yesterday, actually. Until the afternoon-ish was when I went to sleep. I was too busy on TikTok. That's my issue and I found. <laughs> I was like watching the paternity court thing because it was interesting. That stuff is juicy. I feel sorry for half the people on it but it was pretty juicy and I was just watching it. Now I started watching it, I think it was like 12 a.m. And then I last looked at the time and I wasn't even tired. I was still watching it. Oh my god, this is good. It was 7 a.m. I can't believe I was watching it that long. Can't believe it still. Like, I can't believe it either. Yeah, I don't know if this happens to anyone, but that's a long period of time. I should have been checking the time a lot, but I, I didn't feel tired. I wasn't tired at all, so. There's no way I would have thought it was 7 a.m. No way. No way did I think it would be 7 a.m. That's crazy. So crazy to me. But that's happened to me a few times. If I find something really juicy on TikTok, I'll just go on the account and just start watching all their videos. And I was... This happened another time with Judge Judy. So the judges they at me, you know, Zoe. I was watching Judge Judy and watching a lot of the episodes of Judge Judy and I thought, oh my gosh, this is good. And I liked watching it. And I didn't get sleep until later. But what can you do? Should be checking the timer off. <laughs> but yeah. Now I put bronzer on my neck as well like I don't know if anyone else really does that but I like to blend the bronzer into my neck too because I do put bronzer on my jawline and now when I was younger oh when in my mouth I actually tasted nice <laughs> <laughs> what the hell <laughs> well it is um Too Faced chocolate bronzer but <laughs> that actually tasted kind of nice I mean, you shouldn't be eating <laughs> your makeup, yeah, but... You shouldn't be eating your makeup like that. <laughs> no, I won't lick it. <laughs> oh, I went to lick it and I'm like, no, I won't lick it. <laughs> it's probably poisonous. <laughs> probably. Oh, well. No, I swear, if a makeup brand comes out with, like, something called chocolate or something that smells good, I get tempted to want to lick it because it smells so good. I don't know if anyone else like that. Surely no one's as weird as me, but they're probably not as weird as me, honestly. Now, I'm bringing the bronzer kind of down further than my neck today because I don't want to look dark on my neck and then look like white paint hit my chest because that's what it's going to look like. Now, when I was younger, starting out doing makeup, I've learned a lot over the years that I have been doing makeup, which I think I started wearing makeup in year seven. Just tried it on one day. Mum let me try on her makeup. 
I'm not sure why I wanted to try on makeup, but like, oh, can I wear makeup on going out? And she's like, okay, you can try it. Because I was, I think, 13, 12, 13. Mum let me use her makeup. And then from then on, I was addicted to it. I don't know why, but I got addicted to wearing makeup from then on. And mind you, the shade was not my colour. When I look at mum, I'm like, okay, we look as white as each other. <sighs> it's never the case. Never the case. I tell you, you think that, but it's not actually the case. Um, my nana looked like the same shade as me too, and then she was not in found it. That's so weird to me. You can look like you're a similar shade and everything. Like, it's hard to tell though. It's really hard to tell because she ended up not being my shade at all. She's much darker than me, so it turns out the whitest in my family. I mean, you can tell my foundation shade is snow. And then my concealer shade is cloud. So, you know you're pretty damn pale if that's your, the shade names. But, yeah. So, starting out doing makeup, it was my face looked orange. <laughs> And I didn't blend it down to my neck. And I remember one day this girl told me at school. And it made me so conscious. So conscious. Sorry. Made me so conscious. And I'm glad she did it honestly. Like at the time. I was young and I thought she's being mean. Like she's trying to bully me. But no I think she was genuinely trying to help me. And let me know that what I was doing wasn't. It didn't look good. It didn't look right. And she told me to blend it into my neck and so now I always from then on since year 7 have blend, blended it in my neck or my ears just wherever so it looks good now I'm using the NARS um, blush I like the shade it's in the shade where is it orgasm and it looks really nice I like that shade really nice shade it looks good um mind you i hated blush for many years i hated it i wouldn't wear it i thought i wear makeup so you can't see my blushy cheeks why would i want to put blush on them because i do blush naturally and i hate that and i thought why would i want to replace it putting blush on but Throughout the years, I actually don't mind it. Started liking it for, I think since last year, I might have gotten into, yeah, last year I got into blush. And I really like it. So, yeah, I've been wearing blush since last year. I enjoy it a lot. Now, now I'm going to use the shade Pillow Talk Highlighter Ofra what it looks like it's absolutely putrid all my makeup's putrid at the moment i use all of this all the time so <laughs> this is a really good shade for me Six bubbles. i really like blinding highlighters i really enjoy it i don't know if you can see that i think you can Ethan's talking to the guinea pig back there. I oh know, I'm trying to scratch under her chin, but she just keeps licking me. <laughs> yeah, the guinea pig loves licking people. It's so cute. Absolutely love that she does that. She's a pretty loving guinea pig, but very, like, shyish. She doesn't really like to be held that much, which no. is understandable. I would hate being lifted up all the time. Well, we don't really pick her up. No, nah, we don't really pick her up. Even when we get her out of the cage, we try to lure her into jumping into her little circus tent over there. Call it a circus tent. <laughs> um, but it's her, her little house thing that we try to lure her in with treats, snacks, stuff like that. So she can jump in because we don't want to pick her up. She doesn't like it. Um, on the rare occasion, I'll pick her up if I want to check her feet and stuff like that. Make sure everything's fine. Which it always is. 
Now, I think I'm almost about done. Now, I use the same eye, um, I use the same eyebrow brush to, and the same eyebrow shade that I use in the palette, um, which is a dark brown. And I put it, now I just started doing this, I put it under my eye. Now, mind you, I have, um, three certificates in beauty. Um, I started doing makeup, obviously, as I said before, even doing beauty, because I would always study it, how to do it, like, how to make it look good, stuff like that, because I have always loved doing makeup. Um, and I chose to do it for a course, like, I chose to do, sorry, I chose to do a course in school, um, that was beauty, and at the time I didn't know that there was an actual makeup course itself, I thought there was only just a beauty one, that's also at the time. Um, but I thought beauty was a little bit better because I could get to learn more things than just, you know, makeup, things like that. But there wasn't much makeup in that course, actually. Like, it was more tanning and stuff like that, eyelash extensions, all that. But, yeah, I have three certificates in beauty. And I'm glad I did that, actually, because I can get a job in whatever I want. When it comes to beauty. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I might eventually just go and get a course. Like do a course in um, makeup itself. And then get certificates for that. Might do SFX honestly. Because I'm into that scary makeup. Enjoy doing that. So I like that sort of thing. Clicking. Now I'm going to. Whew, gonna do my lipstick. Also, I like the um, Kylie Jenner lip kits and that. The only thing that I do not like about the lip liner, it. I mean, it's a mess at the moment, but. It's not, you can't roll it up or roll it down. You only have so much you can use. And then once it's used, it's used up. And, you know, I like the lip liners that you can roll up, roll down. But, yeah, that one doesn't do it. So I feel like it's a waste. You have to be really careful. And it's a buttery formula, which is a beautiful formula. It's just you can use it up more if you're going harsher which you have to be a lot careful it smells nice always smelling my makeup <laughs> yeah you always smell your makeup i smell everything it's so weird like before i eat a burger or anything i have to smell it i'm like i don't know why i smell everything before it's so weird okay so done my lipstick I think I'm done. Done absolutely everything that I needed to. Yep. Now I'm going to spray my face. Which will feel so good because it's warm. Oh, so much nicer. Just going to let it dry. It will probably be a next clip of us getting ready to go to the concert or whatever but it's not going to be filmed on the camera because we're not going to bring our camera in there it'll be filmed on the phone so yeah thank you for watching me do my makeup and sitting there listening to me and yeah we'll see you in the next videos you want to say bye babe uh bye guys
What's your name? As a Mel Melburnians. <laughs> Hell yeah. My Melburnians at the back make some noise on the grass. Come on. <laughs> Everybody down here makes some noise. And we've got these two little things on this either side, the little balconies here. I'm gonna see which one's loud, alright? This balcony makes a noise. Okay. You're small but you're mighty. This balcony. Literally exactly the same. Never think of crowd interaction in the moment. We're having a good time tonight. Who's been waiting for uh Jesus, three years to be here. First time we ever played in Melbourne. Is it? We were supposed to play at a church or something, and the venue went into a sinkhole. So we had to scramble the morning of. We played in like we played in like a tennis court. <laughs> Please make some noise for Callum Hood on my left. Let's be you 11 years ago. <laughs> Seen a lot of, a lot of fanning action going on out there. Little, little devices for fanning. Is it hot out there? Yeah! Should we just stop the show because it's too hot? No! Alright guys, I'm gonna have to pack it up. It's too hot. Just kidding. If you don't get the day off school, you don't get the day off of the Five Sus show. That's the rules. Give it up for yourselves one more time. We released our fifth album this year. Also, before I forget, and I never do this enough. Give it up for the crew who make sure. <laughs> How many shows have we done so far? How many? Too many? That's <laughs> 67.